Welcome back. In today's video, we're going to cover the new Quest interface workflow for labs that will be processed for that day's visit. Keep in mind there are exceptions for pap smears or culture studies, but we'll go into those exceptions in future videos. So the first place you're going to start is going to the printer, grabbing the lab requisition slip, and looking up the patient. The easiest way to do that is going to be using this patient search icon and you have a few options. You can go by name, date of birth, or medical record number, whatever you prefer. Once you're in the patient's chart, proceed to the checkout tab. Within checkout, you want to click on lab radiology order processing and the first thing is to select the Quest Diagnostic Vendor and that will be the only vendor that you ever select. From there, come right down to where the labs are, highlight them, and click the drop down arrow in order to move them down for processing. Once that's complete, click this box here, and then click Process and Submit, then Save and Close. And once you've completed those steps, you're able to go to the orders module, which will be found down here in the bottom right, or up in your information bar if you've customized your settings. Upon clicking in the order module, go to the orders summary tab, and this is where you'll double click on the order for that day's visit. I recommend going right to the general tab once you enter. And the main thing you want to look out for up here is this ordering provider and making sure that it's a specific provider's name and not some generic name. From there, you can look over the insurances and then proceed to select tests. And this is where, once again, you can view your lab studies or assign additional diagnosis or labs here. After that, move on to test details and we must select the collection date and come up to the top right corner in order to choose the specimen charge. Keep in mind that you can view insurance in most cases up here. Otherwise, you would have found it within the general tab. And basically, once you click into specimen charge, you have four choices and these will vary based on insurance. The top choice is no insurance. Second choice is the patient has insurance. This is family pack insurance, whereas the vena puncture code is for Medicare. So once you select your choice, the final step is to click save and send. And once you complete that step, you're all done with processing lab orders. All right. Well, thank you very much for your time.